TJ Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Rain continues here in southern New England, probably looking at the rain until maybe uh, 8, 9, 10 o'clock or so. Let's get, get a look at live Doppler radar. You can see we are covered in green and even some yellows and oranges. We've got a moderate rain falling along uh, Route 1 down through South Kingstown and Narragansett all the way back into Westerly. We're finding uh, some uh, heavier rainfall. Just obviously have to reduce the speeds on area roadways. Threat tracker for tonight. Low chance of severe weather. Same for Saturday and same for for Sunday. The rain just right now more of an inconvenience than anything. Rainfall reports Charlestown 1.38 inches and they're seeing some heavy rain right now. Uh, Hope Valley 1.17 close to an inch in Wickford 0 0.80 at TF Green uh, making uh, this still the third wettest year on record. We're about 2.2 inches away from second place set back in 1972. 54 in Providence right now. 53 in Newport. Spring Lake and Westerly at 56 degrees. Here's a live look at the Newport Bridge all lit up and kind of foggy with some light rain there. Here's Oakland Beach pretty breezy here. You can see some of the uh, uh, trees blowing around and a pretty good breeze. Wind from the southwest 8 gusting up to 33 miles an hour and mild there uh, 54 degrees. 56 down in Westerly. They had a gust to 23. Satellite radar picture showing this pipeline of moisture working its way into southern New England. It extends all the way down uh, past Florida Florida and working out ahead of this cold front. Now this whole system will be out of here by tomorrow. Let's track it with our hour by hour forecast. We're going to start you off at 8 o'clock this evening. Notice we're still looking at some rain, maybe a little moderate to heavy rain just off to our south overnight. We clear out. I think the rain's probably done again, 8, 9, 10 o'clock or so, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We've got the sun, but it will be pretty breezy tomorrow. In fact, those winds will be bringing in some cooler air tomorrow morning. It will be pretty delightful with temperatures in the lower 50s, but during the afternoon, temperatures will begin to fall off back through the 40s. 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're still looking at dry skies here in southern New England. So for Saturday morning, look at this. Temperatures up around 50 in the morning morning and then slowly falling back into the upper 40s by around noontime. The afternoon hours with the winds, it'll feel chillier than this, likely feeling like uh, upper 30s and lower 40s. So 49 for the temperature in Narragansett early afternoon. Newport about 49 with those busy west northwesterly winds. 45 in the Woonsocket tomorrow. 47 in the Providence area. 47 in West Warwick. Fall River, Freetown, New Bedford, Dartmouth and Westport. All in the mid to upper 40s with those busy west West northwesterly winds. Here's that seven day forecast. Now on Sunday, it'll be a lot cooler. Temperatures only in the upper 30s in the uh, afternoon hours, but we'll have lots of sunshine. Winds will be a little lighter on Sunday as well. On Monday, New Year's Eve day, a lot of changes through the day. The day itself looks like it'll be dry. We'll start off with sun, end up with clouds. Rain develops during the early evening. Showers and drizzle likely at midnight and temperatures at midnight will likely be in the 40s. The first day of 2019 looks like we'll start off on a mild note with temperatures in the 50s. You may remember last year the morning low was one degree on New Year's Day. Nothing like that this year. Wednesday dry and chillier. Thursday uh, seasonable upper 30s looking at maybe some more rain late in the day on Friday. Be sure to download our WPRI Pinpoint Weather app. You can get live interactive radar and weather wherever you are. It's free for your iPhone, iPad and Android devices. I use it to track the rain all the time. I was looking at it all day and basically saying the same thing all day. A very gross Rain. Friday out yeah. there. All right, thanks, TJ. More coverage you can count on. Still ahead on Eyewitness News, live at 5.